I'd like to say we're going to do a couple more things here or there. A couple things with this ball club is that last year wasn't as good defensively as it could be. And I think that we've helped our outfield defense quite a bit. Um, we will have a healthy Beltre back. And uh, Russell Brandon will be a, a reasonably good first baseman for us. Uh, we need to get Betancourt to play better at shortstop. Uh, so, and Don, Don will share this with you, but we hope to be a better defensive ball club because with a good pitching staff, you really need that. You know, the task is in Don's lap right now to figure out the catching scenario. You know, between three different, four different guys. Um, you know, it's an ongoing process. The one thing I would ask all of you to understand, you know, Ryle went through his, through his career, he gets to a point where he has an opportunity to make an awful lot of money and sign a long-term deal at a relatively elderly age in baseball. And, and, and he secured himself a three-year deal for over $30 million. With where this organization is at this time, it would have been a little bit difficult for us to commit $30 million to a 37-year-old player, quite frankly now. That being said, I have all the respect in the world for what he'd done. I talked to him several times on the phone. You know, what a terrific guy. I mean, what a, he's a heart and soul was club a year ago. However, he's one player. And as much as we would have liked to have brought him back, and I really sincerely would have, I think we differed a little bit on where the dollars end, where ended up as well as the way the contract ended up. And that's what happened. He was able to make a decision, go to the World Series team. You know, they got rid of their left fielder. If you're him sitting in his chair, if someone comes to you and says, we just want a World Series, here's $30 million, here's a three-year contract, and you're my everyday left fielder. That would have been hard for us to, as much as he loves his community, and as much as he meant to this ball club, you know, you have to say, well, all one is a realist, too. You know, he went to a place where he was, he fit in perfect. So, you know, I tip my hat to him. Let me touch on that a little bit, too. You think about the 100 RBI. Well, there's a 100 lost season with 100 RBIs last year. It's gone away. I've been with the Texas Rangers that had, in the last five years, they've had one of the most potent offenses in baseball. I was with the Oakland A's last year. Up until the All-Star break, we had an awfully good run with, with a, a very low scoring offense that ended up about where Seattle was last year. Uh, so you look at those different scenarios, and my definition of a solid team, a champion.